Ah, the Bell Vernon Football Stadium. The field. James Weir Stadium. We weren't really here much. My mom doesn't really care about the band. Like she'll never go and ask me like how how a show was. You know, she just she says stuff like your band sucks. show last night, Steve. You can't stop me from playing shows! <sighs> if my dad were to ask me to take out the garbage, he would say, he wouldn't say, hey Steve, will you take out the garbage? He'll say like, Steve, will you take out the garbage? Hey Steve. 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 How about taking out the garbage tonight? It's Thursday night. Okay? No. Steve? Please? Alright. Hang on. Give me the sports section here, Steve. What was the purpose of that? And I always try to talk to them, and they don't seem to care about what I have to say. I heard like the uh, pasta soup. I mean, I'm just going to kind of spoon it down here. I'm not really going to... I didn't really put my fork in there. Okay. So everything was all right down there today? Yeah. Yeah, it was just kind of a quiet day. We didn't go any place. Did you... We uh, stayed in. What time did you go out of bed this morning? Mm, not mm -hmm. when you called me. Yeah, I thought that's what was going to happen. Could you guys stop talking, please? Um... Did you go, go look at your dad's garden? Uh, no, I didn't. Mm -hmm. No, it was too warm, but he's so Woo! A garden! You know, he gave me a heck of a tip on, you know, how to plant some tomatoes. I think I'm going to do a little experiment at this show. Oh, really? Huh? Yeah, this thing with five-gallon buckets? Mm hmm Please mm -hmm. stop talking. Just stop talking. Yeah, Just I can stop talking. put the five-gallon bucket stop in the ground, talking. fill it up with dirt. And the dirt kind of anchors the bucket, and then you put the plant in it, and the plant spreads out over the top of the bucket. And I don't think you need a cage. Really? Well, you're saying that I don't want to grow tomatoes. Parents are the nicest parents I've ever met in my life. Steve was blessed to have parents as nice as he has. If you're asking me about Steve's parents, I have to say the problem really isn't Steve's parents, the problem is Steve.
we really appreciate our fans a lot. We actually plant this whole garden here that you see. We plant this at the beginning of every summer and we grow it so that we can give fruit and vegetables to our fans. Hell, I give them, I give them, I give them as many vegetables as they wanted. Man, a garden! Woo! We have a nice little tomato plant growing right here. When those, when those uh, get ripe, they'll be nice and juicy and ready to eat and put on a sandwich or maybe make some sauce with. Tomatoes, you know, they're actually unique vegetables because uh, aren't they actually a fruit, I think? Woo, a garden! And it's weird that fruit grows in a vegetable garden. That's the weirdest part. But we, we grow oranges, apples, bananas, whatever, whatever the fans like. We like to give the fans what they like. You know, I guess I could swing some apples. I got an apple tree out back. Woo, a garden! And if the fans like oranges and bananas, we'll grow them, even if it's a vegetable garden. Chris is weird. Oh, it's my Uncle Crazy Chris! Come on, let's do the food dance! One, two, three, four! Everybody's, Everybody's doing, doing the food dance! Everybody's doing the food dance! Everybody's doing the food dance! It's time to make some food! One more time! Everybody's doing the food dance! Everybody's doing the food dance! Everybody's doing the food dance! It's time to make some food! Everybody's doing the food dance! Everybody's doing the food dance! Everybody's doing the food dance! It's time to make some food! Everybody's doing the food dance! Everybody's doing the food dance! Everybody's doing the food dance! This is Pyrotastic! Paul J. Menetiades. Hey, Paul, I don't know you, but you did a fine job today. This is my car. It sucks real bad and makes a bunch of noises. I love you. <laughs> my guitar man, six years in a row. Huh? Paul has the best sideburns I've ever seen. Paul, come back. We're going to miss you. And remember us when you're on the cover of the Rolling Stone. Paul. Yeah. And one day we're doing Paco Bell's Cannon. And he raised his hand and I said, yeah, Paul. And he said, you know, I used to really like that piece, but there's a seventh note that's off. And I'm looking, I'm like, I have one clue what he's talking about here. Yeah, you know, Paul, that seven note bothered me, too. <laughs> so you're asking me about a kid who didn't go to school here. Do you think he's a good student? <laughs> I, I don't know. How would I know this? It was, it was getting pretty hard by the end to play, be playing shows and going to school at the same time. I, I didn't have a problem with it, but, I mean, they did. I guess I wasn't, you know, I didn't care about high school to begin with, but um, uh, I don't know. They, uh, they just were, they, you know, everyone, high school sucks. Everyone watching this probably knows that, so. I love you, buddy. Hang in there. My favorite shirt to wear would have to be I paid my dues. Right now I'm paying my dues. PJ has some really dumb clothes. 
This is a JC Penny original. It's a lovely shirt. I wear this on special occasions. I'm the hair you! I've been in Pierce for a long time. Let me sit over here. Roll. From people. I got this one. Hell Rider. Whenever I'm riding my hog. PJ has some of the worst clothes I've ever seen in my life. The best wrestler of all time, Shawn Michaels. The Heartbreak Kid. Say I'm going on an outdoors trip or something. Can fit in, wear a shirt of some trout or salmon, whatever they are. This coat makes me look tough in the winter. It has the studs on it and the skulls. Some days you don't feel like wearing skulls. Some days you have to wear a bunny. The four songs on the Rewind EP are In Order, Play, Rewind, Stop, and Power Off. Play was kind of our, our first pick out of the songs, it seemed to me. That was the, the one that we uh, started tracking first, and it seemed to be the one that we were most excited about. And if you play Punchline backwards, it says, I'm the devil. <laughs> what? What? Once we started laying down vocal tracks, we realized that there was a lot of dead space. So it was after hearing that, hearing all the dead space, that um, a couple of like the, the most memorable parts in the song were added. The take a walk outside and let the rain hit you part, that wasn't added until after we were already in the studio. Some, those were lyrics that I wrote uh, about a year before that. Um, Chris's speech, the "This is right now," where he does he does this thing, "This is right now." That was added in after we were in the studio. He just had he he was I think he was sleeping actually, and all of a sudden he woke up and he said that he had this this wonderful idea, and we heard him through. And so we said, "Okay, we'll call you. We'll let you know when we're ready for you." So he laid back down. I don't know why his kid's always tired. Um, I'm always sick, he's always tired. Uh, so we're like, Chris, okay, go do your thing. He, and he'd been sitting there right, writing out the, these little notes and stuff like that. He just goes in the booth and we play the part, roll the tape, and he just flips out and does this speech. But there was a space in there, and we were like, we gotta have, we need something to fill the space. And he was like, oh, I got something, and he's in the booth, and we're all in the, and uh, we're all in the control room, and we're like, what is it? He's like, just roll the tape. Is it between? Uh, you want me to put something between? The you live your life the way you want to, and you can play your cards. Yeah. Between that yeah. Part? Okay, I'll try something. Just How about? What do you, what do you think? Okay. <laughs> he wants it's to surprise. stupid. It's stupid, but it be, might be funny. This one. Here we go. If he says shit, we go off the pot. <laughs> so hard. <laughs> I would say that the song Play is really an inspirational song, and uh, it's pretty much about breaking the boundaries of reality. It's kind of like this outfit I'm wearing right now. It's uh, a light blue shirt, and if you'll notice, I'm also wearing, I'm wearing brown shorts with that. And uh, people usually say you can't wear light blue with brown, but I'm all about breaking the boundaries of reality, and I think that's what the song Play is all about. It's like this outfit, this is forever. <laughs>